and welcome back to K-Neck Design. If you're new here, my name is Katie. Today we took, we'll be taking a wine bottle and making it into this cute snowman. But before we get into this, don't forget to head down below and give me a thumbs up and a subscribe if you haven't already so we can keep crafting cute projects like this. So with that, let's dive in and start crafting. So the first step is to paint a, a bottle here white. If you want to put lights in it, you could leave it clear like this. Um, and with the white coloring, the lights won't show quite as well through it, but just depending on what look you want to go with. I am just using some plain white apple barrel paint and a foam paintbrush. And I'm gonna dab it on, which will give it kind of a fun little texture, kind of snow-like texture. And that's why I'm doing the paint versus spray paint. You could spray paint it, but then see how it's getting some of this texture there, and I want that. So that's why I'm doing regular paint. But if you like the smoother look, by all means, use spray paint. And I have two heavy containers here just to help hold my bottle in place as I apply my paints. You might need to go back and forth and do a couple coats of paint or let it dry and then do the other side. So painting like this is going to take you a little bit longer than spray paint probably, but I like the effect of it better. So kind of up to you if you want something quicker or if you like this style better. Or maybe you're like me and you just like using paint over spray paint. See, it's actually going pretty fast. So our paint has dried. I left some spots just so like if you put lights in it, it shines through just a little bit. But if you don't want these little tiny spots, you want it all white, then I suggest doing a second coat. Here I kind of did a little thicker there. Um, now the paint sticks well on the glass, but it can scratch off. So to prevent this, I'm gonna go ahead and use some Mod Podge. I'm using matte just so my paint doesn't scratch off. I know it's gonna lose just a little bit of that texture and give it a, even though it's matte, it'll give it a little bit of a sheen, but I don't want this to chip off because that also kind of, to me, that matters more that it doesn't chip off. Um, I didn't paint up here because we're gonna put his hat up. Technically, I probably didn't need to paint all of this because I'm gonna do a little scuff for him but that's up to you. I thought it was just easier to paint it. Also, since I'm not doing the bottom, you can stand it up like this and paint as well. I was just doing it this way, so it's easier for you to see. So I'm just gonna use my Mod Podge and we'll come right back. So for a snowman face, I'm actually going to be using these snowman faces that were in my 12 days till December ornament event I just held. And if you did that event, you got one of the faces in the free pass. But if you did the VIP, these were all the extra faces that came with it. Now I'm going to put this file on my website in the shop so you could purchase them separately if you would like um, if you want specific faces besides the one that was free if or if you missed it and don't want to buy the entire VIP pass. I will also be adding my other files that were included in the VIP pass for uh, additional purchases if you'd like to purchase any of those separately except for my 3D snowman ornament and my ornament letter to Santa envelope. Those will be exclusively only for those that purchase the VIP pass itself. So here is what the file looks like when you upload it into Design Space. You could also just hand paint a snowman face 
on your bottle if you'd like. We just hit ungroup because we don't want all of these faces. And I don't want any of those. You could go over here and hide them in the eyeball. But I'm just going to hit back and delete them. Because I don't want those. I don't want to use those. Now, I like this squiggly face. But I like these eyes. So, what I'm going to do is move them and put them together. Now, here the eyes are connected. So, if you come across a design like this and you just want a piece of that design, all you have to do is go over to shapes, pick any shape you want as long as it'll cover just that section you want to get rid of or separate, but not touch the one you want to keep here. And then I'm holding down the shift and selecting the mouth as well. So now the circle and the mouth face is all selected. You could also just drag over them. So just as long as both pieces are selected. And then you hit slice. Now you can only slice something if there's two pieces there. So this is one and then the face was the second one. If you get more than one, it doesn't work. So now we don't want these eyeballs, and we don't need any of that anymore. So that's how you separate it from there. And then he needs a fun nose. So we don't need those ones. So I think that looks like a pretty cute snowman. Uh, last thing is you want to size it. And actually, for my wine glass, wine bottle, I do want it two inches wide. So just make sure you select everything and size it together. And that's all there is to it. So now we just need to cut the eyes and mouth out of black permanent vinyl and the nose with the orange permanent vinyl. So let's go make it. So I cut my face and my nose out of my permanent vinyl here. Just use whatever setting fits your uh, material you're using. You can use transfer tape to do this, but I kind of like doing this part freehand, so I'm just going to apply it like a sticker. But that is up to you. Um, just remember about how far down you want your hat and your scarf to go, and pick whatever side you think looks Best. I'm not pressing it down quite yet, just in case I decide I want to change it up here. And just be careful you don't scratch this. Even though we put Mod Podge on it, it still can scratch, just not quite as easily as before. There is a face. I think it looks fun. I made some gnomes out of fun socks. So this is one I have previously cut. And I thought it'd be kind of cute to make the scarf of my snowman here. So I'm just gonna slide it over the bottom. Now you could cut this down to size if you wanted, but I kind of like this. Uh, oops, wrinkled effect that it's going to give. I 
and you can use hot glue to help hold this in place if you would like or if you want in the future to maybe be able to replace it with a different color scheme then I would not use your hot glue that way it's easy to take off I'm just bending down those edges and there we go that's a cute little scuff kind of like that look I think I might glue that in place I didn't do it too tight that you can still kind of mess with it, but it's not going to go anywhere. Now, for the hat, I'm also using one of these socks. I used to love these little toe socks when I was little, but they all have holes. But I liked the design, so I never threw them away. Typical crafter. But now I have a reason to use them. Um, so yeah, this was one of these socks here that I just took some scissors and cut it down to size when I made uh, sock gnomes. And if you'd like to know how to make those, those were fun, and I'll link my videos and things for those down below. Now, for his hat, you could cut this down to size. You can leave the headband like that, or you could flip it up like that. I kind of like how it gives it a brim, so I might do that and just kind of tuck it to make sure it shows. And you can make it go up or down as much as you like. I kind of like the lower hat, so I think I'm going to keep it there and I might go ahead and glue it now so it stays in place. So we don't have to worry about it when we do the rest of the hat. Now for the top half of a little snowman, I think I'm going to fold these guys in and then tie it off with a little bit of a string and it's hard to show this angle but you could fill this in if you don't want it all floppy which I just um, glued this so you could kind of peel that up kind of stick it in those spots there if you want but uh, if you do want to fill it in make it all not so floppy then I recommend just filling it with some cotton or um, that polyfill, something like that. So I think I'm going to tie that off first. So let me go get some string to tie that off. Again, these are just so it doesn't roll around on me. You won't see this, we'll do something else with the toes, but I still like to kind of hide that one um, I think I've still seen some of these toe socks at Dollar Tree. I'm sure Amazon has some. I'm just making a double knot here.
then what I like to do is cut these little toes. Depending on how big your toes are, depends how many you want to cut them. Kind of tend to do it in threes. Might get four out of the big toe here, just kind of depends. And as you can see, it kind of makes it a little floppy. This one here, I cut a little much. There we go. It was because he was broken there. I'm gonna have to use other string. <laughs> Let's try it with some good old fashioned twine. That was just really silky uh, string that I had. And there we go, that's kind of fun top. If you can't find a sock like this, just use like a regular sock and then you can attach like a pom-pom or something fun like that at the top. Now we need to cover up a uh, knot here. We have, I could do the Chanel, just Chanel and make a bow. I could do a pom-pom. I like this Chanel stuff. Let me find the end here. Okay, I found the end. So I'm going to, I think, wrap it around just to hide the twine on that side. And then we'll make a nice bow in the front. You could attach little snowflakes. Um, I think Dollar Tree, Hobby Lobby, they have some out of wood that'd be pretty. You could glue on, um, just whatever you want. a little glue just so it hides that. Maybe even attach your knot in the back so you don't have to hide it. Sounds like my kittens just found my paintbrushes. And there we go. We have a cute little snowman. So what do you think of a cute little snowman? I like the little hat here. You could do something else. So again, fill it if you want it. You could do it up high if you fill it and then it will just stick up. Or you can make it shorter. You could even use a glove if you can't find these toe socks. Or like I said, if you use regular sock, um, you could still tie it off and cut the tips. I'll add a little pom-pom. Um, so a lot of different varieties. You could do an actual ribbon or string or to make his scarf as well. Um, and if you wanted to, you could put fairy lights in there. Um, you might just maybe cut a hole in the back so you can reach the battery pack. And obviously, or you could just not glue the hat down so you can reach the fairy lights as well. So a lot of fun uh, creative ways to make these little snowmen and I look forward to seeing how yours turn out. Thanks for crafting with me and I'll see you next week. Bye for now!